welcome to this now today it's the January transfer window reaction one now I am far far from thrilled with our transfer activity but we'll get on with it in this video thank you for support in the recent videos we're so close now to 2450 subscribers that's meant we're getting 150 subscribers in about 10 days so thank you for that if you are new please subscribe and like the video because that really would help me can we get 50 likes on this video a real tough real tough uh, like god but i'm confident we can do it hopefully we can please show your support i'm not i mean a lot so the news broke yesterday Kyle Dempsey has left Fleetwood Town on his six month low deal till the end of the season. Our best midfielder has been loaned out to a League One rival who are 10 places above us around in the league, right? Peterborough have got Madison, they've got Ivan Tony, they've got Tomlin coming in, they've got Loads of role players that Tazzy Foley. They've got loads of really good centre midfielders as well. Kyle Dempsey wasn't getting a game in front of James Wallace, Dean Marnie, Ross Wallace, Ryan Taylor, or Nathan Sherry. Now, Peter's squad is a lot stronger than ours. So how is Dempsey not fitting in our squad, but Peter's squad? I don't understand it. Kyle Dempsey, two years ago, was I'd say was one of the best in the league, midfield-wise. This year, he's not had a chance. He's played four starts and eight coming off the, and he, he's made eight appearances off the bench. He's not had a chance. On Saturday, Dean Marnie and James Wallace they weren't the best together. It just felt slow. There was no energy there until Ross Wallace came into centre mid in the second half, um, and Coyle switched to uh, left back. Um, there just seemed no energy there, if you know what I mean. And Kyle Dempsey, energetic, got movement, got pace, got confidence. All you need to do is shoot more. And Peter Brown got a quality, quality sign in there. I just can't believe he's let him go. It's an absolute a joke because our fans aren't happy to call for Martin's head. I think it's a bit too much at this stage, but. With Bobby Grant's situation as well, that was this poorly. He's always got a passion, he always tries. When we're losing, he always gets the lads going again. And he's a good player at this level. He's proven over the years. Kyle Dempsey, Bolger, also will be leaving the club uh, for Lincoln. Hull were interested six months ago. He's hardly had a chance. Again, two years ago, one of the best in the league. Last year, it was okay. Scored, six, scored 12 goals for us as a centre-back in two seasons. 13, sorry, in about two seasons and about six games this year. 13 goals. It's crazy. He wins headers. He wins his tackles. He wins his battles. And we'll, we've got 34-year-old Craig Morgan playing in front of him as captain. When Easton is a leader, he is, I put him as one of the best we've got at the moment. He's a leader. He's calm. He gets a lad. He's like our captain, isn't he? He's vice captain. But he should be captain all the time. Bolger and Easton suit well together with Coyle and husband at fullback. And then I'd say Kyle and maybe Holt or Biggins. I really, really like Harrison Biggins. Again, he's not been getting a game uh, up until lately. I was sure he was going to go. So Bolger's going to be leaving. Dempsey's left on loan. Probably won't be coming back. Bobby's left. Obviously, how you know. However, we have extended loan deals of James Husband and Louis Coyle. Brilliant, brilliant piece of business. Two players I really respect, especially Louis Coyle. Been here for two years nearly now. Uh, obviously, he's really hard to, to adapt from. Uh, he's a lead lad, so he's had to move up down here. Um, he works hard on the training pitch. He's got a great attitude towards his learning. He's got a great attitude on the pitch. He'll play wherever. He plays left back sometimes, and he's done really, really well there. Um, right back, he's just getting better and better at each game. Husband at left back is a revolution. He's come in, done really, really well. He played for the start of the season for Norwich when he lost 5 1. Um, and now played for him since. But he's come in, played really, really well, got a load of games. And he's thriving on confidence. But we need someone. We need them. We need 
I don't want to see any more Joey's mates coming. I want young blood. I'd rather Nathan Sherwin get more games or someone from the UK. I don't want another 30 because we've got Ryan Taylor. Uh, we've got loads of players over 30 years old. Ryan Taylor, Dean Marnie, Ross Wallace, Shed Evans, Paul Jones, Craig Morgan. The list goes on. So we've got about 9 or 10, uh, at least over 3. And that squad's only 24 uh, squad members around. Now the has come back on low, which is good. Been at Carlisle, please can we play him? Carlisle want him back? No, we don't want to give him back to Carlisle. I like the fans, fair enough. But we need to keep him. 99 goals in two years for Hawley. You can see what league he is. But he's done it in league two, he's getting about 10, 10 and a half a season for league. That's about 18 to 20 goals a season if he keeps up that form. It's like, what we need, I want to give him given a chance. Now, I'm going to end the video soon because it's going to be on to a right mug. But I just want to say, this isn't, I don't really agree with the Cardam situation. He's been liking tweets also seeing Barton out, so what's going on there? Something's going on behind the scenes. I don't know why we didn't give it to the Sheridan, personally, but fair enough, he's got still time to turn it around. Thank you for watching today's video, I hope you have enjoyed it. Like I said, really good news about the full backs extending because they're real two crucial players. I'd like to keep that, even though Barnsley are interested and Candy as well, we need to keep hold of him, and uh, as well as, I'd like to keep picking, don't send him out on the loan or anything, because he's a really good player, really good learner as well, so that is the first episode, we haven't signed anyone officially new yet, hopefully we will be doing soon, thank you for watching today's video, I hope you have enjoyed, I always cut my videos, lol, oh cringe, uh, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one, for coming at 50 likes, please like, subscribe, and tell your friends and family, and get notifications on, Next video is tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Peace out.